Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about God leading us into peaceful places because his peace is always with us. Isaiah 26, verse 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is set on you because he trusts in you. A few years ago, I traveled with my older brother and his wife to Jasper National Park in my province of Alberta. As they had visited the park the year before, I considered them my official tour guides. I had never been to Jasper before, and so I went with no expectations of what I desired to see or where I wanted to go. I knew nothing. Outside of finding a reasonably priced motel, I left all the decision making to them. I knew that they would make the weekend a special one and I was content to go along for the ride in every sense of the word. Although my traveling companions urged me to let them know if I wanted to stop along the way, I was reluctant to take the lead. After all, they knew what was lying up ahead on the road. As our first morning progressed, however, we stopped many times along the highway at the urging of whoever was taking a rest from the driver's seat. Slow down, there's a great view ahead. I had the awesome luxury of fully immersing myself into every moment along the road. I didn't know what to expect after all. I relaxed as the day went on, confident that we would arrive at our motel in plenty of time to check in. My brother insisted on pulling out my walker on several stops so I could sit in the crisp mountain air. They enjoyed seeing the mountains from a fresh set of eyes as we passed around our digital cameras several times during the day to compare the dozens of photographs each of us had taken. I surrendered myself to the perfect peace that weekend, knowing that my weekend was in very trustworthy hands. When I can't see what lies beyond the bend in my road, anxiety can sometimes creep in. I want to know what is at the end of my journey even before I set on the road. Yes, I'm one of those people who likes to read the last page of a mystery book before I read the rest of the book. What if I am missing something spectacular by spending too long in one place? When anxiety and that need to take control threatens to overwhelm me, God reminds me of the lessons I learned that weekend. I need to trust him. For he's walked the path before me, and he is making my path straight. My best friend is the type of person who likes to go by the seat of her pants an awful lot. And we've gone on road trips together, and it amuses both of us because I like to plan everything out months in advance. So once I get into her car, I can put everything into her GPS, and everything is done. Well, she likes the spontaneity of trips an awful lot, but we still have a great time because I've been able to let go of the final details, leaving it in God's hands and allowing him to surprise me along the way. If you're a bit of a control freak, as the song goes, let it go and go along for the ride and see where God is going to lead you. Don't be so caught up with worrying that you're going to miss out on what God has in store for you because you accidentally took a little detour route. Just relax, place your life in his hands, keep your ears open, and if you need to recalculate your inner spiritual 
GPS, ask the Lord to do that. He'd be glad to help you out.